everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion and Doom. And today I'm here to review the 2019 action thriller Bloody Marie, a film that is written and directed by, and I hope I get these names right, uh, Lenart Hillage and Guido Van Driel. And it stars Suzanne Wolfe as Marie. Now this is a film set in the Netherlands and the language spoken here is Dutch with a little bit of English so it comes with subtitles. And this one focuses on Marie who is a comic book artist based in Amsterdam. Um, and essentially she is um, an alcoholic and we see for m a huge portion of this film her trudging through her life trying to get money so that she can essentially get alcohol and she, in, in one scene you actually see her selling her shoes to somebody to get money to, to get alcohol and all. so she's a terrible alcoholic and, um, and this focuses quite heavily on it this film however something happens with one of her neighbours and she kind of lives in uh, a fairly dark part of Amsterdam she lives in like the red light district um, and um, there's kind of something pretty horrific happens with the neighbours as a death takes place um, and she gets embroiled in like these local hoodlums I suppose who are connected to the red light district um, and she's got to kind of take action to make sure she looks after herself and protects those around her that's the best way I can describe this film now um, the I think the biggest issue that some people are going to have with this film is the marketing of the film. It, it kind of sells this film as almost like um, a Dutch version of Atomic Blonde or something like that with the way it, it presented. That's a little bit of what I was expecting when you read like the write-ups on this, on this. It kind of makes out that she goes on some kind of vigilante killing spree. Um, and the film itself is actually not very, not like that at all. Um, it's it's more like um, a, a character drama this film focuses very heavily on this character Marie and her um, addiction to alcohol um, and some of the scrapes that she gets herself in um, and then it, the second half kind of focuses on like I say this red light district and how poorly the prostitutes are treated and um, how she kind of unwittingly gets involved she doesn't really want to get involved um, and there's like a side story of her relationship with her mother who passes away and all that kind of stuff so um, this kind, this film presents itself as like an action like thriller but it's very very light on the action don't go into this film thinking you are going to be getting uh, one of these like um, Euro action flicks because she just you're not really at all this is very much like a character drama for the most part with some um, dark elements sprinkled in um, that force this forces this character if you like to take action to uh, preserve herself and um, these prostitutes living in the red light, red light district so um, it does look very nice this film it's got a nice um, retro color palette to it and um, and the lighting's very interesting and it, it it looks the business and it's very competently directed and the performances by everybody here are what you would expect for a film like this um, it's I don't have any complaints at all with any of the performances um, the the character of Marie is quite a complex and layered character, to say the least. Um, not overly likeable, for the most part, which um, is quite interesting for a film that focuses so heavily on this character. There are elements of her personality that you're not going to like, but it doesn't shy away from that. Um, it also makes her quite a realistic character, um, and probably a character that, for the most part, some people may well easily relate to so they make it quite relatable not particularly likeable um, which is a certainly an interesting approach um, there are other elements of the film I, w I would have liked them to have focused more on the the relationship with the mother I think kind of shied away a little bit and I think the film itself feels a little bit confused does it want to be this character drama 
or does it want to be this dark and dingy um, thriller? Um, and it kind of struggles with that, and it kind of it, it, the balance of the film. It, it struggles with what it wants to be. Um, and I would have preferred it to have laid its hat on one thing or the other, either the character drama, if it had just focused on this character Maria, alcoholism, um, the relationship to a mother, and um, and all that kind of stuff. I think I, I would have been happy to see a film based on that. Um, and then it moves into thriller territory, and it it no, that's the part for me that it, I, I was not completely comfortable with, and it just felt a little bit disjointed. This film in with the uh, what it really truly wanted to be so I think this is an interesting film but ultimately I think it's a, a, a very very flawed film and I think it's selling itself as something that it isn't actually um, it is not a high octane action film by any stretch of the imagination don't go into this film thinking it is so I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 I just think it's a conflicted film it doesn't exactly know what it wants to be but it looks great and the performances are fine um, it just it didn't hold my enthusiasm throughout it and at times you could even describe it as a little bit dull unfortunately so that's my review for Bloody Marie I hope you found it useful thank you very much for watching and we'll see you more for more reviews on Geek Legion of Doom